In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best cover three in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And those of you guys that are new, I'm so thankful you stopped by. And be sure to leave a comment at the end of this to let me know how you liked the video. And also, let me know uh, what you thought and what I can do to help you get better in Madden 18. All right, guys. So, I was playing in a game, and... I couldn't figure out why I kept getting sacked because this guy wasn't blitzing anybody, right? It wasn't blitz. No, no special setup. No, nothing. He lined up and just ran this one play the entire game. And I struggled really, really badly on offense. It was, and it wasn't because the, the players weren't open. It was because the pressure was so quick that I couldn't throw it. So I wanted to share with you the play because it might help your game. And that is dive normal. Of all, of all formations, dime normal. And basically, you go through and put your best pass, rucker, pass rushers in. And then your, your, your play is the three, three double buzz, but, but you can come out in the three double sky as well and get some pressure. So I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with this. So you got three double buzz. Now, this is your base. What you want to do is you want to base a line. You want to spread your line, you want to pinch your linebackers, and you want to press coverage. That's it. And what you're going to see here is really good. I mean, it's just it's just really good pressure. So you would obviously use this guy over the center. So what I, what I would do, man him up on the running back, hold left trigger, right trigger, and then what's going to happen is you're going to be responsible for the deep middle. So your man right here, left trigger, right trigger, and you're gone. And you see how they just work. I mean, they just work for you. These blitz angles, I mean, you if you calculate it out, and I think we can actually do a little bit more to improve this. I don't know if this guy was doing this or not, but I'm thinking contain rush, crash line out, contain rush. There's the contain rushes coming in, and you get a block shot. I'm just telling you guys, this thing is, I mean, it's just really good. The biggest thing is you get one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. If you have someone with in mutt, and what this guy had was he had guys in mutt, who had really, really good pass rushing ratings, and my linemen couldn't stop them. They just couldn't. Okay? So I would try this version out first. And just try it out. I'm telling you, this right here is really freaking good. Just the, the blitz angles they're on, I don't know why it's good. I just know that if you play a game, and, and, the, and you know they have to pass the ball, just try this play out. Just try it out. The second thing I want to show you is I want to show you three double sky. This is the blitz version. So if you want to set up pressure, come out in the three double, three double sky. The cool part about the three double sky, in my opinion, is it gives you better zone. So I'm in spread. We'll just go curl flats. So you see these zones are seam flats. I don't know if you guys know this, but seam flats are probably the best zone. Um, next to the cloud flat. So you have those. And then you just want to set your play up. So if you want to send it from the left, you want to contain rush. And then you want to take uh, Graham, put him on a, or Cox, put him on a blitz, bluff blitz. You want to take Graham, put him on a spy. And then you want to take Douglas and you want to put him on whatever really you want. I would suggest vertical hook. Now your responsibility is the deep middle and you're going to stand over the center what you want to do then with this and again this is if they have to pass you want to take cole beasley man him up on the left side guy hold left trigger at the snap of the ball you're going to hold him right here hold him and then go what's going to happen is there's going to be some pressure normally there's better pressure than that Let's see what went wrong there Part of it's because I can't hold the guy as well. Cool part is you can do this all over the middle linebacker. So snap the ball. And you see you're going to get this edge rush out the side. Then you're going to also get it from the other side. So if you, same thing. I got to bring this guy down. That so this would be the the pressure from the other side, 
just want to contain rush because in my opinion that makes it really good and then you just want to hold and go and as you can see there's that pressure off that side so this is a really good blitzing scheme really really good um i like this scheme i like this scheme in a scenario where they have to throw the ball the only reason is because if they run the ball against you right if they run the ball against you and you are in this formation and they're in like a two tight end set you're in trouble you're in trouble okay and no your main responsibility is just to get to the outside okay so anyways just want to encourage you to mess around with this defense i think it's really really good and there's a lot more probably going to be coming from this but just something initial to kind of get your feet wet with and um, have some fun with it so thanks for watching today's video again when you're playing the game you're going to be able to hold that guy over the center better and it's going to it's going to be a better for your team so thanks for watching today's video and if you really want to get better defensively i would look no further than the premium membership we have in there is special two-man pressure from um right edge two-man pressure left 